as I said yesterday in part one of this video. So this is the big one. This is the list we've all been waiting for. If you never find anything, when we get the big, huge dots like this, it's such a good time to look. You cannot watch this video without watching yesterday's video to understand. This is part two, so you must watch part one first. If you don't know how to find part one of this video, I linked it in the comments of the video. So on this video that you're on right now, scroll all the way down past all the other videos and you'll make it to the comments. My comments are always the first comments right underneath the video and I'll link part one right there for you. Do not ask Dollar General employees for penny items. Don't call the store. Just go in the store, scan the items with the Dollar General couponing app to verify the that they're a penny. Take them up to the register and purchase them just like you would any other item in the store. We know several of the dot collars are going to penny, if not this week, really, really soon, like brown dot home, red square shoes, blue dot, and gray dot clothing shoes and accessories. But in this video, we're mostly going to be focusing on the brown dot home items. Now, a lot of these items do have a brown dot right on the tag of them, but some of them do not have a brown dot. Those are going to be hot ticket items to look for because the Dollar General employees are not going to know to pull those items. Making it much more likely you'll be able to find the items that follow brown dot but don't have a brown dot physically on the item. Let's also note that sometimes this brown dot can look very tan. So keep in mind a lot of the items that we're going to be talking about in this particular video may be following brown dot so they may not have a brown dot on them get your screenshotting fingers ready my friend i think the item that i've seen the most following brown dot that i've seen you guys post in the facebook group in the telegram group uh, is this dollar general air fryer that's regularly priced $35. It's going to be a penny when brown dot pennies, but as you will note, it does not have a brown dot on it at all. Now, this is awful because I've just lost my phone and I lost so many pictures and videos of items following brown dot. I have to go off the pictures that you guys have posted in the Telegram or the Facebook group. So if I use your picture in this video, thank you so, so much. There are more household appliances appliances that follow that air fryer. They're just like that air fryer. They have this same little yellow tag in the upper right hand corner. Now, since I lost my phone, I don't have UPCs for each individual item, but I can show you at least some of the items, but you'll know what to look for. These Toastmasters in a white box with the yellow tag in the upper right hand corner. Now, I did get you the UPC for this griddle. Screenshot this picture. Save it for for your phone, you have the UPC, open up the Dollar General couponing app and add this to your list. If you don't know how to do that, you got to figure out how to do that right now. Once you've added the item to your list, it stays up there so you can wake up in the morning, check your list to see if the items have pennied. Not only brown dot and the items following brown dot, but the other dots as well that we expect to penny. It just makes everybody's life easier to add them to your list. Also, these Mickey and Minnie themed household appliances, just like the Toastmaster, I was sure was following Brown Dot. I only have one UPC for this, and it's showing up the price 000 in my phone. So I can't guarantee you that this follows Brown Dot, but it does either follow Brown Dot or Purple Dot. So just keep an eye on these Mickey and Minnie household appliances as well. I'm pretty sure it follows Brown I just can't confirm that for you here at 3 o'clock in the morning on Sunday night. We do also know that these character pillows follow brown dot. I could not zoom in enough to get the UPCs on either two of these character pillows, but look for these and look for similar type pillows at your Dollar General when brown dot pennies. Speaking of character pillows, there's some also some character like hooded blankets. This one is 
a Trolls blanket. I found it singly at a store. It also follows brown dot. And if you know me at all, you know that I really have a thing for rugs. And I'm probably the most upset about losing my phone working so hard on all of the rugs that follow brown dot and their UPCs. Now, I sadly only have two UPCs for the rugs, but these are $30 rugs. You can look for a similar pattern on the rugs. Uh, some of them are in this picture here, and those are following brown dots, so they're going to penny if you're lucky enough to find some rugs, and if you find a bunch, please mail me some. Can we talk about this ladies' brown dot haul in our Telegram group? This is like the best brown dot haul that I've ever seen. Just as some items follow brown dot, there are also going to be a few items that are brown dot that are excluded, meaning those items do not penny out and they still ring up full price at the register. This makes a lot of people confused on penny day but it just happens that way usually with every single dot you'll see it a lot of the times in the kids clothing uh not usually with the winter clothing but especially when the summer clothing pennies there's kids clothing tags that just ring up full price we don't know why they're excluded now a lot of you are also asking me is this a list where the dollar general employees are supposed to throw these items in the dumpster or send them back to the corporate office. This particular list, all of the lists combined, mostly they're supposed to send it back to the corporate office. I would still check the dumpster if you're willing to do that, but for the most part, they're supposed to send it back to the corporate office. In part one of this Dollar General Penny List video, I mentioned Green Square Shoes, and you guys had a lot of questions about it. Most of you thought it was an NCI store item, but it's not. It's a regular Dollar General store item. These are summer shoes, though, so they penny later in the year. Last year, they surprise pennied, but Dollar General's been keeping up with the squares this year, so they'll probably Probably keep up with it but I just wanted to show you the green square tag other than that I do not have any updates other than a lot of opinions some of the Dollar General store managers do think that these items are gonna penny on the 8th or the 9th so you guys just need to be on your toes on Tuesday even after Tuesday if these items don't penny or maybe they will only penny in some areas. It's just one of those things I think we're just going to have to wait and see if it was a typo or what. And just a couple other quick side notes before we go. Don't forget these Grace dot little unicorn items i almost forget to forgot to mention the saucer chairs oh my god the saucer chairs look for those there was some confusion of whether or not they were a uh, gray dot or brown dot but it doesn't matter if they both penny at the same time if you need a upc for a brown dot item to save to your dollar general list here you go and if you stayed till the end of the video i wanted to give you a little nci store hint because you guys are are my friends thank you so much here you go here's your hint screenshot it and we'll see you later bye guys